Welcome back to the Accessible Art History YouTube channel. For this week's video, I'll be discussing another major archaeological discovery that shook the world. This one has a biblical connection. It's called the Pilate Stone, and it was the first physical evidence discovered that confirmed the existence of Pontius Pilate, the Roman prefect that sentenced Christ to be crucified. So to learn more, keep on watching. In order to understand the importance of this discovery, it's crucial to understand who Pontius Pilate was. Unfortunately, there isn't much outside biblical sources about his life outside of government work. Our main sources are the New Testament of the Bible and the works of historians Josephus and Tacitus. We know that he was the Roman governor of Judea during the reign of the second Roman emperor, Tiberius. He presided over both the trial and sentencing of Jesus during the Passion events. Though he has been vilified for this rule, there are some sects of Christianity that revere him to the fact that he seemed reluctant to punish Christ, and instead it was the Jewish leaders that forced him to pronounce the sentence of crucifixion. After this, records become quite scarce. Historians believe that he struggled with his relationship with the Jewish leaders, which isn't surprising or unusual for this period in history. It appears that Pontius Pilate was recalled to Rome by Tiberius after a particularly disastrous Samaritan uprising. After that, he disappeared from the historical record. Well, until the stone was discovered. In 1961, a team of Italian archaeologists led by Dr. Antonio Frova was working in Caesarea Maritima, the former capital of the Roman province of Judea. The dig was located on a site that included a theater built by Herod the Great, which had been incorporated into later buildings, including a temple to the divine Augustus. While excavating a staircase, the group discovered the Pilot Stone. Dating from between 26 and 37 CE, the Pilot Stone is a simple chunk of rock with a dedicatory inscription. Translated from Latin, it reads, to the divine Augustus, Tiberium, Pontius Pilate, prefect of Judea, has dedicated this. Augustus was the predecessor and stepfather to Tiberius, the emperor that appointed Pontius Pilate to his post. He had been deified after his death, and there's evidence that there was a temple, or at least an altar, that stood near the site where the stone was found. Pilate was likely seeking favor with the god for a successful tenure as prefect. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, the Pilate Stone was the first physical evidence ever found that confirmed the existence of Pontius Pilate. It's extremely rare that we find this kind of proof for events with people from the Bible. It's an excellent reminder that the Bible is a religious document, but it also tells us about historical events that happened 2,000 years ago. Today, the Pilate Stone can be found in the collection of the Israel Museum. Multiple casts were made, with one being placed at the original site in Caesarea Maritima, and the other is being given to museums around the world. The stone is so important because it brings back the events to the Bible into the modern era and helps us to understand even more about the past. 